Hey, welcome back to Well.com, home of TIG time. I'm Mr. TIG. I've got a catalog here that's got some great information. It's got a uh, filler material selection chart for brazing. It's provided by Harris, and uh, I've got all kinds of choices in here. Now, we're getting ready to do some brass brazing. Uh, and I have several choices to choose from, but as long as I can get by with silicon bronze, uh, I have that in stock, and you know I just like to use it. It wells up very nicely. So uh, uh, if you ever needed to get this online, uh, great information. It's free, and I do happen to have silicon bronze. Now again, <clears throat> this material, brass, has a certain amount of zinc in it. So when you go to braze it you're going to find that it's going to outgas and it's going to smoke and fume uh, and that's just the nature of the beast. It's going to be there. It's kind of ugly to weld but what you want to do is keep your temperature down as low as possible and that's why I use a brazing alloy. We're never going to reach melting temperature of this material. If we do then it's going to start bubbling and you're going to see porosity and all kinds of things. So this right here melts at a little bit lower temperature than the, than the base metal. Now the other thing about brass is you want to make sure you wipe it down. Uh, so I use acetone as my cleaner. Now you can use MEK and several other solvents, but uh, that's my preferred choice. So we're going to DC weld this, pointed tungsten, 2% thoriated. I'm using argon at about 30 CFH, and you're going to see that I'm using the jumbo clear gas lens, and again, I'm only using that so you can get a clear view of it. So let me get all my safety gear on and make sure that you have good ventilation when you're welding brass. Okay, when I'm brazing this, I've got to keep adding filler. And it's, it's critical because this material will continue to fume. And the hotter you get it, the more it'll fume. So keep your travel speed up good. And make sure you're dabbing plenty of braze alloy. Again, we call this Healy brazing. And you can see very clearly you've got to have adequate ventilation on this. And I'm building up a little heat at the end, so I'm going to have to back off on my amperage. Okay, now that I've brazed up this material, brass on brass, just know that it's a lap weld and it's about 16 gauge material. So I can get by using argon gas. Now you can take brass fittings and, and heavy wall material, uh, but you're probably gonna run out of amperage out of your machine. So you might wanna go to helium gas when you do that. We'll do that on a later episode. Now also, I can't reiterate enough, make sure you have adequate ventilation just because of the, uh, the outgassing, the smoke that you can see coming off this material and we're in a room where we do have great ventilation. So uh, I want to thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.